When I started in baseball, there wasn't a ton of entry-level information available on the internet about advanced metrics and statistics being used in today's game. But fortunately for all of us, that has definitely changed over the past few years. In today's video, we will be covering some of the best places you can go online to continue learning about baseball analytics. There's so much information out there now that we are now able to break it down into a few different categories. The first breaks down the level of information available at these different places on the internet. Beginner information, for those of you who are just beginning to learn about baseball analytics. And then, advanced information, for those of you who have a good base understanding about the ideas available out there. Furthermore, there are now sites that are providing you information for free, such as somewhere like YouTube, podcasts, etc. And also, paid information, such as an online course. So let's dive into it. First, we will be looking at the best free information available for beginners. Now, if you are just getting started, these sites are going to be the best place for you. They don't cost a dime. The goal for those of you who are looking into these sites is to learn the basics, so the content is typically a little easier to consume. The first place I'd recommend you checking out would be this awesome YouTube channel called Simple Sabermetrics. Well, yes, that is the channel you're currently watching. We even have a blog too. But I do have to say that it is one of the best places on the internet for you to learn more about the advancements going on today in our sport, as well as the practical applications of that information. If you enjoy the videos, the best thing you can do to show your support is to subscribe. And if you're new here, definitely be sure to check out some of my recent videos. The next, in one of my favorite Twitter accounts out there, has to be Pitching Ninja. What started as short clips highlighting the mechanics and movement profiles of big league pitchers has now grown to be so much more. From a high school recruiting tool, nasty pitching highlights, to in-depth tutorials on pitch grips, and a section that I like to call current events, Pitching Ninja has truly changed the game. The channel, the Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok all do an excellent job showing off our sport. And while not every video is centered specifically around education, you can sure learn a lot by binging through his work. I'm sure most of you have already done this, but I'd highly recommend checking him out on Twitter and YouTube at the very least. The next creator we have to cover here that you most likely have already heard of as well is going to be John Boy Media. If you're on this channel, this is another group that you surely have heard of, but you can get some high quality information from their Twitter, their podcasts, or one of their several YouTube channels. John Boy, again, isn't a channel that's set up to specifically teach you anything about the advancements going on in today's game. Rather, they try to showcase the daily craziness that occurs across our league. Advanced statistics isn't really their game, but the deep dives into our sport across all levels made John Boy a destination on the World Wide Web that I had to include. You can definitely learn a lot just by staying up to date with our game through their sites. And that brings us to our final free beginner content creator that I love to watch. It's none other than Robbie Rowe. Robbie does an incredible job capturing the way that you can use tech to improve as a player in today's game. And you can catch him on YouTube, through his podcasts, or any of the major social media platforms. Playing baseball is a grind, and documenting and uploading the high quality stuff that Robbie puts out is really impressive. If you haven't discovered his channel yet, you'll surely be hooked after this. And it's important to note that all of the sites that we talk about today will be linked in the description down below for you to go and check out once we're done with this video. So make sure you give them some love. Next, we will take things up a notch by checking out the free advanced information you can find online. These sites are places I visit nearly every day to learn more about baseball analytics, and it's great for those who have a good base understanding of baseball analytics. The goal I see these sites fulfilling is more high-level applications of some of the things you may have learned from the beginner sites. And while you can find some good beginner information on some of these sites, a lot of the content on these sites is typically a little bit more advanced and in-depth. The five major websites that I'd recommend you check out include Driveline Baseball, Fangraphs, Baseball Reference, Baseball Prospectus, and Baseball Savant. The different uses of all of these sites in this section could be a video of its own. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments down below. But what you need to know is this. Each of these sites have their own destinations for research articles, blog posts, and even some video content diving deep into the different trends that are occurring at the highest level of baseball today. That includes definitions on advanced statistics, individual player breakdowns, and a whole lot more. 
The middle three here, being fan graphs, baseball reference, and baseball prospectus, are also great places to look at advanced statistics for every aspect of the game, with Baseball Savant being very similar, with more information on the ball flight information captured every single pitch through what used to be TrackMan, or now utilizing Hawkeye. And the other special shout out I'd like to give in this section, of course, is the Driveline R&D Podcast. Those guys do a great job talking about some high-level stuff with some high-level guests in a more fun and relaxed setting. So definitely check them out on YouTube or wherever you typically listen to your podcasts. In just a few minutes, we've covered a ton of great places to learn more about our sport. And every single site is 100% free to you. Rather than spending an hour on your phone scrolling Twitter, check some of these sites out. Read a blog, watch a YouTube video. It's all fun stuff, and it will help you out down the road. The next step, of course, is to look into paying for some sort of additional education. The benefit of doing this is that these courses are created to leave you with a new understanding of the game. And rather than exploring on your own, courses can hold your hand on the journey and give you just the pieces of information that you need to develop whatever skill you may be trying to refine. We will keep this still broken up by beginner and advanced information, starting with the best place you can go if you're just getting started. The number one thing I'd recommend you look into if you have a bit of money you'd like to invest in yourself is the first Sabre Analytics course that I helped create. This course is the first in a series of four courses, and the goal is to help individuals from all backgrounds learn more about baseball analytics. It's built so that even if you have no experience in baseball at all, you can follow along and learn all about the history of analytics in our sport, the different popular statistics and metrics, and what the difference between those two are, as well as real life applications of the things you've learned by comparing actual MLB players advanced stat lines. If you're already a Sabre member, you can get this course for $125. But if not, it's still only $180 for a few hours of jam-packed, self-paced baseball education. In my opinion, there isn't a better place to get started, and compared to some of the other courses out there, it is incredibly cheap for the value you can get from it. Moving on to the advanced section, this section actually contains a lot of beginner information as well. The difference is, it becomes more specialized and it may take things a bit deeper, which is reflected in the price that you pay for these courses. The two most popular places I've seen individuals acquire certifications through include the Rapsodo certification, who have both a hitting and a pitching certification course for about $400 each, and then Driveline, who has a ton of courses out there from hitting, pitching, pitch design, strength training, and even youth coaching. Their courses have been backed by industry-leading research, and they will cost you anywhere from $500 to $1,000. But if you feel as though you're in a pretty good spot in understanding the different sites we've talked about so far, adding Driveline Certified to your resume could be a good next step for you. And that's it. The best places I currently visit online to learn more about baseball analytics. The best part about it is, while the paid options on those lists can be incredibly beneficial to many of you, you don't have to pay a dime to have access to hours and hours of advanced information about our sport through a whole bunch of different resources. And this is just my list. Who am I missing? I'm always looking to broaden my horizons when it comes to some high-end content creators in our sport. Let me know your favorites in the comment section down below. Big Data is here to stay, so if you're trying to gain a leg up on your competition, whether that is just for yourself or the team that you're working for, utilizing an assortment of these different resources regularly is the best way to grow your knowledge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep learning more, here's a video and a playlist that I think you'd enjoy checking out. I'll catch you in the next one.